But here's something that happens all the time. And, you know, we've all seen this. It can be a problem. Uh, what happens? You had the tooth. This was a zirconia crown. Uh, and now you thought you had enough tooth structure and you didn't. And the whole thing gets loose. And now you've got an upset patient. You know, might not be, you, you might have had what you thought was a good feral and everything else, and this may have lasted a while and you were okay and happy, or it could have been you made the wrong clinical decision here. But we've all seen cases like this. Took the tooth, it took the crown out, removed the material that was inside it with a drill, then I took it over to the sandblaster and uh, cleaned it up. Real simple. We went from what's on the left side there to the right, nice and clean. Prep the canal, just like we'd always wanted. Place the post into it. Mark the mark the post. Cut the post. Place it back in to check that it all was what I wanted it to be. I then what I normally do is I then place a little bit of Vaseline inside the uh, the crown because what I'm going to do is is actually do a reverse core build up here. So I don't want it sticking to the crown. That's the last thing I want it to do. I place the bonding agent on the upper left there. I place the bonding agent onto the, uh, onto the post. I then go in and place the bonding agent. And there are different materials here, so I, I, I don't want you to think that it's the same thing. Uh, place that. I dried it off. We let it cure. We place the build-up material into the tooth. And then we place the fiber post in. And there we have the post inside the canal. I then load the crown with the material and place it back onto the tooth, have the patient biting it into place because I want to make sure this thing is fully seated in the right orientations, buccal, lingual, mesial, distal. It's got to go right back in perfectly. And you can see the excess coming out around the gingiva there. And this is what I get after it has dual cured. All right, we leave it there for a few minutes, let it dual cure, and then gently bring the, uh, the crown off the tooth. That was the whole purpose for uh, placing the Vaseline inside the tooth. I then go ahead and prep the tooth back, all right, being very careful to try and avoid the margins. I do not want to alter the margins of this tooth. What I want to do is just remove the flash. So I might do it with some finishing burrs, like an ET9, or I might do it with um, an explorer or a scalpel. It, it all depends what I think I need to do to get it done. I then clean the inside of the tooth with alcohol. Um, in this case, I might use um, some IvoClean uh, if that was necessary. But I kind of switched to Ceramere, which is a, uh, a cement that does not require uh, preparation for a zirconia crown. I then place the crown back in, make sure the the occlusion is correct, and there we have the reverse post and core uh, done on this tooth, and it's been functioning fine and dandy uh, since we've done that.